there are first days of school, and then there's what happens after those first day. One Central Texas student coming home to find a huge surprise in her backyard. 25 News reporter Jarrell Baker picks it up from there. Chloe Hammond's first day of school this year will be one she never forgets. Not many 12-year-olds in Central Texas have their own dance studio in their backyard. <laughs> the Make-A-Wish Foundation, along with American Constructors, unveiled a 160-square-foot cottage-style dance studio at her family's home today to celebrate her bravery battling cystic fibrosis for more than a decade. I'm so thankful that I even get this opportunity. But it's an opportunity that almost didn't happen. We first started talking with Make-A-Wish a couple of years ago and uh, there were lots of other plans in place that included some different trips and things, but of course with COVID, uh, all that came to a screeching halt. It was really disappointing because I, we were gonna go to a place that we had always wanted to go. <laughs> But when one door closes, another opens. Her family says before she could walk, Chloe loved to dance. And for several years, her moves has helped her with her treatment and recovery. During COVID, she was unable uh, to go to uh, the local dance studio that she's normally a part of. And so uh, as they talked more about that, uh, they thought that a dance studio would provide her a, a great safe opportunity and space at home to be able to continue dancing. Now, five months later, her wish has been granted, and she's now dancing to the music. And now she wants to inspire other kids like her to keep moving. Don't let your disease define who you are, and be super thankful that you can let other kids be aware of what you have. You can teach other people. You can. There are people out there who are like you. You can help them and you can just share what you have. In Belton, Jarrell Baker, 25 News.